What's up, y'all? Jake Owen here, and uh, welcome to my farm here in Kingston Springs, Tennessee. And this is LT Turf. Don't shank it. That was actually pretty, that was actually pretty buttery. Like I said, welcome, welcome to uh, Kingston Springs, Tennessee, which is, I believe, the gem of outside Nashville. Um, I've lived west of Nashville since I moved up here like 20 years ago. But uh, one thing my buddies and I decided to do was start our own little miniature so-called uh, bucket club where we took like 40 gallon buckets and shoved them down in the ground. Um, and then we created little holes. So this number seven out here at the Oaha Lee Bucket Club. So you would tee off from here and go that way. We have nine holes and uh, we, ha we made our own scorecards. I'll have to show you, we've got our own rules. And um, it's really kind of a passion of, you know, it's like, this is, my, this is, this is our backyard. This is kind of how we like to have a good time and uh, weekends or holidays or whatever, we have a lot of buddies come out and have a good time. So I'm glad you guys are here to share it with us today. Yeah, this is the Tiki Tonk up here. This is, uh, this is kind of the out in the country Tiki bar. Uh, a lot of my friends, we've had all kinds of shindigs out here. All kinds of bands from country music to funk to rock and roll. We had like the greatest 80s rock and roll band ever here a, few, a while back. But yeah, it's like a, this is a place for me to just kind of, when I come home after being around people who I love more than anything, just that's why I love my job is being around people and entertaining them. But uh, having, as you can tell, it's really quiet out here and it's just, I think everybody needs their place to get away. That's why I think no matter who you are, what place you got, being a dude and just having a place that you can maintain and take care of and take ownership in, in the kind of place you have. I, I, I take a lot of pride in, in when my buddies or whoever comes out here to my place that they're like, hey, who takes care of that over there? I was like, I mowed that. <laughs> Let me open up this uh, these doors so you can get some light in here. We've, we've had some of the greatest times ever in here. Like this was just like an old barn that we were gonna tear down when we, built, when we bought the farm and turned it into just like a cool hole in the wall bar music venue and uh, have had a blast, man. It's just awesome. And it's become the centerpiece of our Wahali Bucket Club. You're more than welcome to see our logo out here on the wall. You can see our high class flowers too. We've really let our ferns, uh, we really take care of those ferns around here. They looked good for a couple weeks. My parents came to town. And so I had to make sure that uh, my parents knew that it looked good around here. And then they left obviously and they're dead now. I don't have time, I didn't have time, but I did when my parents came. I want them to, you always want your parents to believe that you're living to the like top level. And for that few days while they were here, I, they were proud. <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, wow, not only has this guy got these bucket holes out here, he's got champion, world champion ducks out there. Right there, feel free to zoom in on them. They, uh, they were left here one day by a good friend of mine who thought it was really funny to leave me baby ducks that I'd have to take care of. And, uh-oh, uh get a kick. So he would really appreciate that his world-class ducks are getting a shout out right now. As you can tell too, I also how much I enjoy my, my nice grass over there. I had to put another pet fence in to keep my dogs away from the grass. 
I was like, they have all this room out here to run around and go to the bathroom, but for some reason they want to go over to the perfectly manicured Bermuda grass. So you can see the size of the bucket. I don't know where my ball went. The fairways are a little long these days. <laughs> you can move it within a club distance, put it on a nice piece of grass so you can't complain about your, your lie. I don't want to hear my buddies complaining about the lie. And then you really just got to find a way to get into that bucket. Oh, I got the worst kick. See, that's what I'm saying. This isn't like people think it should be like regular golf. It's not because you got to take it with the kicks that you get. That could have been just as good as it was bad. But now I'm staring at this like this is a par chip shot right here, like, right? It's a par three every hole. So you're really, I'm, I'm sitting over here trying, I'm telling myself, I, I know I can make this, but if it hits the lip, I brought a nine iron. It's not really the club here. Let's try to run it across the ground. Not gonna happen. So I'm sitting over here. I gotta kind of make this for the four ski. I didn't know. So let's just pretend that I did. Boys and girls uh, and fans of keeping your yard looking incredible. It's, it's, it's really, you should do that. It makes you feel wholehearted. It's really fulfilling. As you can tell, and I told you earlier, I was gonna give you a little uh, insight on what I like to do to keep the grass looking nice. The Toro Real Master 3100D. Now, get your mind out of the gutter. The D does not stand for what you're thinking. It stands for diesel, okay? And what that means is, is that it just starts every time, baby, because it's a Toro and it's a diesel. And uh, I picked this one up second hand, third hand, I don't really know. I got it off Craigslist. Uh, because I just quite frankly, I wasn't willing at the time to dive in financially to something that I didn't even really know how to use. So to therefore let you know, pick this sucker up uh, after I had the walk behind Green's Master 1000. Uh, but after you get up in the morning and you mow morning after morning after morning, while you're mowing is usually when it hits you. I should get on Craigslist and see if there's a, uh, you know, a triplex or something, you know, maybe a little uh, Real Master 3100D that I could pick up. And I did, and it has made this yard not only look better, but it's uh, saved a lot of time for me and I've had some time to hang with my kids and family. So I've never really given a rundown of my mowers before. So this is kind of a mower flex for me. I feel pretty good about it. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you, you focus in on that seat right there. It goes to show you how long those Toro seats last. That thing gets more comfortable with every time I sit in it, so. All right, y'all, well, you've seen, uh, you've seen my place. You've seen my barn where I keep my equipment. You've seen my dogs. You've seen my tiki bar. Uh, I think I've kind of, I've run out of material here. So if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna get out of here, go back to being a dad for my little girls. Uh, so. Get off my turf, guys. See ya. What's this guy? <laughs>